letters that look like blocks of stone piled on top of one another to form a kind of step pyramid. It is followed by shots of the Earth as it looked 30,000 years ago during the Great Ice Ages, showing woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and crow magnon hunters, while at the same time the greatest civilization ever known by man is flourishing on the continent of Atlantis. The Atlanteans do not know anything about good or evil. However, they all live to be 500 years old and have no fear of death. The bodies of all Atlanteans are covered with fur, as with ink. After seeing various domestic scenes in Zukong de Morla Siridosa, the largest and most central city on the continent, but not the capital because the Atlanteans do not have a government, we move to a laboratory where the young, 100 years old scientist, Guad, is displaying a biological experiment to an associate, Gua Tuon. The experiment is a giant water-dwelling serpent man. Gua Tuon is impressed, but Grua declares that he is bored. He wishes to change himself in some unexpected way. Grua is already strange. Unlike other Atlanteans, he is not covered with fur, but has only short blonde hair on top of his head and a closed cropped beard. In comparison to other Atlanteans, he seems hideously naked. He wears a high-colored pale green robe and gauntlet. He tells Gua Tuan that he is tired of accumulating knowledge for the sake of knowledge. It's just another guise for the pursuit of pleasure, to which too many of our fellow Atlanteans devote their lives. Of course, there's nothing wrong with pleasure. It moves the energy. But I feel that there is something higher and more heroic. I have no name for it yet, but I know it exists. Gua Tuon is somewhat shocked. You, as a scientist, can talk of knowing something exists when you have no evidence. Gua is dejected by this and admits, My lens needs polishing. But after a moment he bounces back. And yet, even though I have my moments of doubt, I think my lens really is clear. Of course, I must find the evidence. But even now, before I start, I feel that I know what I will find. We could be greater and finer than we are. I look at what I am and sometimes I despise myself. I'm just a clever animal. Destroy myself in the attempt. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Don't do nothing. And then, and then uh, one, two, three.